प्रणाम गुरु जी प्रणाम सीमा प्रणाम गुरु जी प्रणाम वाणी प्रणाम दादा प्रणाम राधिका गुड मॉर्निंग राजदीप गुड मॉर्निंग शैवाल थैंक यू Rajdeep, as the next Saturday it is Shivaratri. Will there yeah. be any special meditation on that day? Um, our meditation we will offer as a Shivaratri uh, special meditation. Okay, okay. so okay. the meditation we'll do after that, uh, uh, the learning session will make it a Shivaratri meditation. Hmm? Okay. प्रणाम आरपीए प्रणाम विकास प्रणाम आरपीए प्रणाम सुशीला जी प्रणाम प्रणाम चैताली प्रणाम मनिका प्रणाम मनाली प्रणाम गुरुजी प्रणाम मधु गुड इवनिंग प्रणाम प्रणाम निरुपम
will play with few words today where i'm just preparing some some note for that All right, let us start our session today. Today is 11th of February, 2023. And our VR One group, our topic of discussion today is life of unconscious chances versus conscious choices. This is session number 141. First is understanding why we react in every situation in life. Uh, so it is, we need not to learn this because we are doing it day and night. So it is just, I will remind you what we do normally. <clears throat> so I was writing few things before the starting of the session. So let us first to understand that. Uh, just can you tell me, can you read the word or it is mirror reverse? Is it okay? It is yes, okay. it's okay. Okay. Yes, right. sir. Yes, sir. Very good. Okay. So now what we are trying to discuss is the react. You know, we are understanding how we react to every situation in our life. Anything comes, anything we hear, anything we see. Anybody spoken something to us hmm. or uh, suddenly some thought came, how we react. <clears throat> Normal process, react, the word has re and act. Okay. Re means again and act. This again part, where the re part from Re means it has been done before. That's why it is getting again. We see something or we listen to something, then we go to our own data bank. You know, we just directly access our own data bank and search what similar situation or same situation, what we have done or said that time. And we bring that forward and act accordingly. That's why it is a react. You are repeating something which has been acted or commented or said or, you know, the way it is expressed before. That's why it is the react. That's I'm just playing some word here, but it is underlying. It will be help you to understand the underlying meaning. Where our data bank is in our memory. In memory means it our mind, our mind stores a lot of things in our memory. And sometimes it goes into the subconscious mind where everything is stored there. All whatever we did, said or whatever done before. So we download that based on the input we are getting, the data input we are receiving from our external world. We download that and search the memory and then you take 
that our past experience on that, what we have did the before uh, from the memory and uh, and actually do the same thing because it that time our own identity, which is called ego, our ego approves it. Yes, this is the thing to, to do and we do it accordingly. This is the normally the way we react to any situation any given point of life we are we are doing it knowingly unknowingly whatever it is we do this way get from the memory uh, get the input download the similar one from the, the our memory and then you take the approval of the ego and then it's just fine then it's, uh, it goes that way hmm. now in the doing that means the question comes if the similar situation happens to you know to us uh, so maybe 20 years before 15 years before 10 years before 5 years before at that point of time we downloaded that and whatever you have done we suppose originally we have done some time where we have taken based on the input and the second time when it happened and then we almost similar thing a thing we did then after maybe few years again it happened we did almost similar thing in this particular issue too, is called that we are reacting the same thing based on the same type of input and that becomes our pattern. Sometimes when it goes into our subconscious mind, it is called subconscious pattern. So this is how our subconscious patterns are developed. Even unknowingly, we develop this pattern and we keep repeating our action you know, based on certain set of things, and we keep repeating that. Even if we do something and which may not be perfect, but unconsciously, you know, subconsciously rather, we react the similar situation exactly at that way. And that's why whatever the experiences we receive, that also get repeated. Okay. So this part I will, I will repeat <laughs> for you to understand it better. So what was happening earlier, we had some experiences that may be repeated few times because always we download from the memory and then from that data bank, we put that our actions at that particular given point of time. And that's how we react. We replay the act. We have done it before already, but under similar circumstances or situations or something like that. While doing it, it goes into a subconscious and we even unknowingly, we start doing reacting the same way. We start getting our output, the response in the same way. And that forms our pattern. And then when the pattern we carry for a long, it, it becomes our habit. Or from that habit, then it becomes the part of our character. Okay. We, we, that becomes the characteristics of our behavior. Under the similar type of uh, uh, welcome, Kundan. Uh, under the similar type of situation, of keep reacting the same way, and and that's what it is becoming repeated again and again, and that, that's become the pattern. Hmm. So, in that, what happens is that we most of the situation we always react in that way. Because under the influence of our that mind or memory or that package and approval of our ego and we just say or do something and uh, so that brings that uh, the downloading that memory brings that thought that you should be doing this way and exactly whether consciously or unconsciously we do that way you know so that that that's what I'm saying. If you analyze it, you know. Be quiet, and if you analyze it quite a few times, how you reacted to certain kind of situations in life, if you truly, if you are honest to yourself, you almost see you reacted the similar way. Degree may vary, language may vary, but otherwise, almost your reaction is similar. The how you reacted to certain kind of situations. So, if you have same similar type of thing, maybe happened five times uh, in the past. Suppose you um, uh, missed a train or missed a flight. The way you reacted, it was almost similar, no matter when it happened in your lifetime. Mm. So the type of thing you did or the way you approached the things. So almost 
the similar so uh, this is i'm just giving an example the similar same thing happens because knowingly or unknowingly it comes from your pattern your subconscious pattern and that influences then you become this reflected everything you do in your life so end of it if you see the your summary of your life uh, we normally live is uh, so what is uh, we normally live that becomes a series of reactions means series of downloaded version of your past so what you have done before hmm. this this very uh, this very interesting understanding this point yeah so your life becomes series of reactions what you had before and exactly that is the reason you know you are you feel stuck you feel that you are not going anywhere you are not progressing because whatever your thought patterns or whatever you are you are in the pattern <clears throat> that's why it is being repeated that's why the same experience you got again and again similar type of experience maybe characters may vary the location may vary or the degree may vary but you are getting the similar type of experiences yeah, we often hear that i tried so many time but it didn't click and things like that because subconsciously you approached in the same way you reacted to that in the same way and that becomes why i'm saying unknowingly if it is going to subconscious pattern you consciously even if you don't think about it it still you act that way so this is the fundamental reason our experiences of life is almost similar we don't we don't feel that we are growing it's almost similar somebody go to a extend that oh whatever we do nothing kuch hota nahi hai wahi wahi guma phira ke wahi aa jata hai life is same old stuff you know many people complain there is no variation in my life i get the same thing whatever i try whatever i do and i get the same thing you get the same thing because you react all the time so so what need to be changed here i i hope i made it clear enough to to understand that because we are controlled heavily controlled by our patterns and those are coming and our, as long as we keep our ego is a control and you will get almost similar thing it's just a going round and round in the same circle and that's why we didn't get the better experience hmm. the mind what it does it's because there is no creation there this if you go to the new area then the re part you have to go you have to create and to create that it is not the faculty of the mind <clears throat> okay creating something what mind so you say no no my i am a very smart person i am intelligent person i create lot of things yes you do create it lot of things but those are called expectations <laughs> you create your expectation you make expectation high but mind cannot create a reality mind cannot manifest <clears throat> mind can perceive something which generates some kind of idea which is expectation yes you expect lot of things everybody wants to grow everybody wants to you know become bigger higher better you know nothing wrong in that yeah. but those are the aspirations of mind those are not supported by the energy which is needed to manifest okay thinking alone cannot do that you know earlier i was uh, one day i was giving some sanskrit shloka chanakya shloka that some some of them very very full of wisdom huh? the uddamena hi siddhanti karyani na manorathai uddamena by effort siddhanti means uh, that uh, it uh, that happens karyani the work happens uh, by efforts 
उद्यमेन ही सिद्धंति कर्यानी न मनोरथ हुई नॉट बाय विश नहीं सेकंड लाइन इज नहीं सुप्त सिंह प्रविश्वंति मुखे मृगा नहीं नॉट इफ ए लाइन इज स्लीपिंग दट डियर डज नॉट कम एंड एंटर इनटू हिज माउथ टू फीड हिम इवन लाइन हैज टू वर्क लाइन हैज टू पुट सम एफर्ट to hunt the deer and eat it then only lion get, get its food so the sanskrit shloka says uddamena hi siddhanti karyani na manorathai nahi suptas singhas pravishvanti mukhamriga so that means that this particular the mind the wish is not good enough to manifest something you cannot feed yourself with just by wish hmm. but most of the time we do the same thing to have a big thing of wish list mind is good at creating wish lists and expectations and expectations are root cause of all our unhappiness i have a formula i have earlier i have written you know one day maybe you know i can uh, write that again if you if you like so i put my pen and paper ready this time is the formula happiness is inversely proportional to the expectation those who have mathematics background they know what does that mean you know this is proportional inversely proportional to the expectation hmm. that means more you have the expectation happiness goes down so if our mind is good at creating expectations those are its a planted root of unhappiness from there so what is now let me summarize what is happening our mind is creating lot of expectation is good at creating expectation not the reality then what we do of course we put some effort like not suptas singhas means like hunting lion we put some effort but still we are not getting results we put lot of effort but frustrated why then even if after putting it we are not getting the result because we are reacting we are approaching the things in the similar way we have done past Sim- earlier we failed and this time also failed maybe little different way and this becomes our experience failure again and again reacting because the we are depending upon our data bank our memory and we are bringing it and trying to you know like in the like i have the experience in the name of help it comes but we basically landed up doing the same thing so that the result also becomes same we cannot do same thing and expect different results so then we become frustrated and that's how most of the things this particular way of living a life is called what is our subject unconscious chances like we then we feel that it is not in our control why chance because we feel that life is not in our control we have done something because by chance we get it because we don't match all the formulas and all those things our expectation didn't match effort didn't match something we get suddenly oh, then it is by chance or we we are <laughs> we are then what we are approaching in the life then we think that slowly slowly i'm talking about repetition of same experiences of not satisfied then some putting effort but not happened then become frustrated then we come to a conclusion the life is just it happens to me like i am the you know the victim of the situations in my life there are something somebody 
I don't know whom, who else has been creating all those kind of things, stuff that I have to face it and whatever best I can do, but nothing happens. And this is what life. So this is a living a life of chances because everything outside controls you. <clears throat> so this is what it is. This is what it is meant as the unconscious chances, life of unconscious chances. If you live a life like that, if your experience of life is like that, then you are living a life of unconscious chances. That's what it means. So this is our the starting point. But fundamental why then we are not whatever we want, whatever why we do not have that. Because for that you need to create that your reality not to leave it to chances it may never come or it may come the time that you don't want so to create that why we fail every time because we rely on the faculty our mind body intellect our ego mind and these things our pride or whatever it is it is to to create our reality it it fail mostly because it is not empowered to create. It doesn't have the power to manifest. That's why. <clears throat> and then come back to the same thing like chances. Sometimes happens. I'm not saying 100% failure. By statistics also a few times you will get. But there is no control. There is no such thing that you will get that. It, you may or may not. You know, and... And we habituated in living of that kind of life. You know, we said, okay, we'll try and see if it happens is good and it happens then, you know, that maybe because of some reason God is punishing me. It's a poor me. Yeah, so I'm just, what can I do? I'm a human being. I cannot do much, you know. And that is a type of our understanding of life is all about. Most of us, uh, this is the type of thing. Yeah, you, you need not to share. I'm just saying that you know it, what I'm talking about here. Yeah. Now the next part is to go to the mode of the creative part of it. Because it is true, you need to create it. Hmm. If you repeat something happened in the past, you go to react stage and in the reactive stage nothing can happen so from reactive stage you have to go to creative stage okay I repeat from the reactive stage you have to go to creative stage to make it happen to make it manifest what you want so for that <clears throat> I have written another one From reactive stage to go to creative stage, you have to just reposition the way you see your life. If you bring this C forward, reactive becomes creative. Just to play with some word, you know, that's all. It's interesting because you will remember it. That's what I'm written and showing it to you. So only thing you reposition the way you approach life, the way you see the life. So to reach there, you have to truly go out of your mind. People say, are you out of your mind? But to go from reactive to creative, to see your life differently, you have to go out of your mind. That means that is a level of your soul, soul level. When you see from the soul level, you can create. In brief, the soul creates, mind reacts. 
Okay, unless until you go to that level, you cannot create. You have to live a life of chances. And to create, you have to go to the soul level. <clears throat> and we'll discuss about that, how to go for that and what are the techniques and things like that, how it happens. But just understand that. You have to see differently. The moment you see from your physical reality will never reach there. You cannot create in the same reality. But from when you go to the soul level, you can create. <clears throat> because soul, first thing is that your soul has a connection to your consciousness. Your soul consciousness is connected to the universal consciousness. It can bring unlimited power, infinite power to channel and create reality for you. And also it depends upon, you know, that is, a, that is the way it is done. But question is how fast that depends upon your own vibration. <clears throat> Lower vibration takes very long time. The higher vibration, they, takes, they, they make it faster. Anyway, so let, let us not go to the that level. So then let us understand that how it is played out. We are all human being. We are not human doing. Yeah? So by doing anything, you cannot reach there. By being, being who you are, who you truly are. <clears throat> who am I? This is who I am. This is your being. This is your statement. From there, what you choose to be, that is what the expression of the soul expression choose to be, that is a formula of creation. It may be sound a little difficult. I will you know, come back on to this point again. Okay. Let me approach in a different way, simple way. Okay. So why soul can you know uh, create whatever i want because soul has the power soul knows everything and if i if i say that uh, uh, you want something which is good for you which is in your best interest let that happen to you so if i ask you what is in your best interest what you will you do again you will search your memory there are a lot of variables a lot of variables in life different parameters different time frame different people and, and all those kind of things different ability our own ability different liking dislikings hundreds of parameters you know? if i ask you what is what you want to do what is the best interest of you you will search a lot of things and then maybe it may take one hour to come certain conclusion. Okay, this may be, I want this in my life. Okay. Then if I leave the discussion for that day, tomorrow again, I will ask you, those parameters are changed. Then again, you, you said, no, no, maybe this will be better for me. Hmm. Then you yourself will take so much time to decide what is best for you, what you really want. It will take well, days, if not weeks and months. It is, it is the truth. You try and you will, you will know it. You try what is the best for you because there's so many parameters, so many things. Maybe another thought came in the night. Oh my God, I didn't consider that. That could have been best for me. No, no. The yesterday version cut. I need this. So you keep changing your goalpost because your mind works that way. Okay. Your mind is never satisfied because it is working on the expectation. At expectation, there is no limit. Always it is changing. So as you are, you yourself don't know what you really want, how you can get there. You leave that to your mind and mind is playing all the time and that's why you will never get there. You don't know exactly what you want. And as 
you don't specify it, it is very difficult to manifest it. So wh what is the alternative then? Alternative is, as I said earlier, be out of your mind. Stop your mind. It will always confuse and in the name of bigger, better and higher, it will, it will not able to stick to something. You ask your soul. Your soul knows everything. What is best for you? And in the moment it will come, you need not to spend months or weigh pros and cons and analysis and all. These are all mind factors. It's a game of mind. You know, drop that. Even you don't have to waste energy in doing those things. Simply, you call for it. Call for, connect with your soul consciousness. Soul knows everything. And another important issue here is soul gives you right now, present moment, there, then and there, without any analysis, without any, you know, judgment or leveling. And uh, some smart people will say, how do I know it is in my best interest? Who else will know what is in your best interest other than your own soul, your inner guru? Inner Guru has only one agenda. That is to give you the experience from this life so that it experience itself and through that experience you unite with the universal consciousness, the creator. That is the only agenda your soul is having. Your soul exactly knows what you need at this moment. So that you fit into the overall agenda of going, means through the experiences you realize yourself, self-realization and come back home, means the creator from where you came. We are all spiritual beings having human experience. Okay, that this is also at the end product. I will come that, I revisit that. But first understand the dynamics of the soul, what I'm, I'm just talking, just to make sense of it. What your soul knows everything. So only thing, listen this but carefully, to tap the power of the soul, you have to be in the present moment, now moment. <clears throat> in the now moment, you can get that connection, stop your mind, silent your stillness of the mind. So the mind doesn't come and create a lot of scenarios and you know pros and cons and all that. No need. Soul knows everything. You know, just connect and then soul then connect the power of consciousness to manifest it. And as I said earlier, how fast it will manifest depend upon your own, your own vibration. Hmm. That's how fast it can do manifest that in your reality. And as the soul has a power to manifest only through the now moment, that's why now moment called present moment present is a gift is a gift of the creator what what you are manifesting is a gift of the creator you are your soul is co-creator means there is original creator the one the creator universal consciousness and your soul soul consciousness both they co-create the reality for you <clears throat> So, as it happens, it's a time to write something else also. This, this page is over. Well, let me write something here. Another page. Okay. You can see the word. Okay. What is written? Somebody somebody just unmute and tell me. Present gift. Present gift. Yeah. Present gift. Present gift. Present gift. It is present gift. Present. A present gift. What yes. is written? Present. I am reading it in a different manner. Present gift. Okay. So then I will go with Haryom. Let us write present.
Okay, that's what you are saying. Anji, yes, sir. Okay, okay, very good. So it is a gift of the Creator. Okay, and as I mentioned, your soul knows everything. Soul has a plan. This is soul's plan. That plan is already pre-sent by the Creator through your soul. Whatever you will experience, you cannot have some experience if it is not already created by the original creator and manifested by your co-creator, which is the your soul consciousness. And as I said, that your soul knows best what is in your best interest. Only thing you have to do, you have to knock the door, open the door, allow that manifestation to come into your life through your soul consciousness. And whatever is best interest for you, pre-sent in the present moment is a gift and it is pre-sent to you so that you can reach your destination, ultimate goal of your life, human lives or soul's journey to reunite with the divine, to the oneness. It will help you to have those experiences which you progress you towards that unification. So in that sense, your life will be ongoing process of creation. Creator has only one job, that is to create. And you, so your soul is a co-creator. What it creates, every moment it gives you some creation in your life which will be manifested and become my experience. Experientially, the soul through this body, it experience itself and experience itself enough so that it enrich itself, elevate itself to the level of universal consciousness, the soul consciousness, the indiv individual consciousness through the lifetime after lifetime of the experiences if we allow that soul's plan to be manifested, then in that process, we elevate ourselves and then merge into that. And that is that is called coming back home. That is the oneness. It's a very difficult thing in spiritual level, but I'm trying to understand, make you understand it the simple way. Okay. So again, if I just to say it that if you allow your soul to in through present moment to run your life then whatever in your best interest that will be gifted to you that will be presented to you through the present moment those that kind of experiences you need right now but you don't know but your soul knows and also it is already gifted by the creator. That's why it is pre-sent, is already sent. For this moment, whatever experience you need is already sent by the creator. Only thing, it is to be downloaded and manifested. So you they live the life and it will be the life will be the series of creations. That's why your life will get everything new. You can progress, you can whatever the progress, what is for your ultimate goal, to achieve your ultimate goal, not what the idea or expectations you may have about your life. You know, you may have a big, big ideas, but they don't be good for your own soul's journey. You know, so that, that life will be useless if it is pursued that way. So in that sense, soul intuitively seeks the perfect circumstance and the situation now needed for you. For what? For to heal all the wrong things and, and then you have the rightful experiences of who you really are. To experience who you really are. We don't know who you really are. And then what happens is it consciously choose what your next experience should be. What you, what you choose to be. What you choose to be means 
you choose to be which is in the right direction there is no right and wrong in there but i'm just saying for that uh, you know just for using that there is no other better word which is the way to reach there so that should be you are choosing it the next step like you are in the fifth step in the staircase you choose to be on the sixth not going down to fourth or going here and there and you know transverse this one so you choose to be the next step and the next step and the next step and ultimately you go to the towards the oneness and this you do consciously consciously means you bring the power of consciousness through your soul consciousness bring that and manifest in your life when you lead that kind of life your life will be a journey towards that towards that oneness and you don't waste any time and effort or even the lifetimes into all these unnecessary things and then you go towards that and you in the bargain as you connect to the power of your soul you get healed you get a direction right and you got all these things and you get full support and that's what it it goes and ultimately merges with that one that is the purpose of your life's journey so that's how it it happens so this this is what is meant by what i said the life of unconscious chances to conscious choices so this choice make sure your mind doesn't take that choice you leave that conscious choice leave it to your soul consciousness to take that choice it will be always in the right direction which is in your best interest so with this our i'll just conclude this uh, discussion uh, the learning point if there is any question uh, just you are well Guruji. Yes, Daddy. I wanted to ask when you said uh, in the present moment, that means the mind should be completely free of any thoughts at all, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. But uh, but most of the day when you're doing something else, that's not possible. No, that is uh, means only thing you have to detach from whatever you are externally doing right. and connect internally. It is possible. Okay. like like heart beats without even you are knowing it is beating and what it is doing right okay but only thing whatever you just get the uh, normally it is get connected and all all the time it is getting you are being guided so only thing you have to choose not to listen to your mind that's all you need to do okay. even if there are something there you need not to act means react that way you have to choose to be with the connection you know and you will be guided Okay. If you ask, uh, if you ask me, how do I know that I am choosing the right thing? Because that can be another th- thought. It is not another thought, because soul communicates with us through feelings. We can feel what is good for us. Okay. So don't listen to the thoughts. Go with your feeling. You can say gut feeling, intuitive feeling. All the time, intuitively, our soul is communicating with us. Hmm. Go with the feeling. and then it is uh, you will be you will be given to the direction of that uh, you know in the soul thank you thank you okay. god bless you yes indranil <laughs> extremely grateful as usual and uh, uh like always and it's really like a mystery unsolved uh the question that i somehow had in my mind is uh there has been also great personalities in this world who have progressed significantly in the material side mm-hmm. right so say if you think of steve jobs he has also mm-hmm. created an unparalleled organization as a stew of products 
which are also very very unique yeah and then but then but then within that frame of framework people who have worked for that organization they can say this and that also mm-hmm. so now who like him would they have gone through similar kind of processes also internally um, uh, um yes and no <laughs> okay so first of okay. all uh, that let me put the no part first means you have to whatever you you know in your life path it has to have a soul's plan otherwise you cannot just go there you know just it is another expectation and wishful thinking hmm. okay it has to be in your soul's path but in this particular case what might have happened is even if it is in your soul's path but you keep going down into the path of your mind hmm and you recreate mm. already your past experiences maybe some failures etc you fall into that loop of the failure and failure you never touch upon that one he he came here became here means in india and uh, he was i think there in uh, karoli baba's ashram and all this so then he learned the technique learned the technique how to listen to your and through that he connected and downloaded his soul's plan and then lived the life of that right okay, okay. so ultimately reach right. there but if if he keeps struggling or using his own own tools without at one point mm-hmm. of time he surrendered his tools this is not working i need to find out some better method in that journey he found out that one I found see. out the key the the path okay the channel to go to the level to because means from the reactive to creative only thing you have to change see the way you see the life so he learned this process coming to that right. you know india and going to the spiritual practices he could learn that so he now looks at it from the different angle and that gives him the creative power to do to follow his actual his soul's path that answers your question indonil does does thank you oh, thank you so much all right okay god bless you Rachel. Anybody else having any question? Are you on? Basically, Guruji, it uh, amounts to that in every moment when we are about to take a decision. one gets into the present moment and then uh, takes a decision rather than getting guided by the memory yeah what had happened last time in yeah. a particular situation go with your gut feeling intuitive feeling okay means just you need not to consciously do it becomes a rather skill it becomes a practice then you can you can just connect and you can you know go some time according you know, Uh, sometimes guruji like we are going somewhere and we do not know the route at times yeah. your gut feeling says okay turn right mm. and uh, once you turn right or finally you may reach uh, your destination so uh, mm. that intuition one keeps getting but uh, it is on us whether we recognize that we are getting an intuition and that gut feeling means if we do it without analysis you know okay if you second guess and thought then you again come back to the mind level and it it will be then it will be difficult okay okay but if you stick to that your original uh, that feeling huh, it will not it will not cheat you it will lead you where you need to be hmm. thank you guruji wonderful session all right god bless you so as deep i have a yes, question uh, yeah 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 so not to get into some of the things but say uh, there are two types to so, so the ex- learning through experiences right there they when the mi- mind comes in and plays the supervisory role it's watching right one is watching and if the same experience happens between you and me or anyone else and the mind doesn't play a role in it our experience will be the same our learnings will be exactly the same right but mm-hmm. our mind has a way of getting into it with selective intervention mm-hmm. so that's why that's why our learnings are different we want to retain something out of the experience and you do it differently i do it differently someone else will do it differently mm-hmm. in the same yeah, experience yeah. right mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So if we do, if we don't intervene into and be in the observation mode, right? And we don't intervene mm-hmm. into it. Witness, yeah. yeah, in the witness mm-hmm. mode, there's no learning. Mm-hmm. I'm not learning. Let it happen. I'm not deriving any any conclusion from whatever is happening. There's no learning from it. So mm-hmm. is that that is the way of not to kind of bring in the negative learning, so to speak, not positive one, but me and let it happen. As long as I don't need to intervene, I'm I'm in the observation mode. Mm-hmm. Is that what it is. Uh, um no yes and no but let let me make the things the ultimately the truth that matters you know we are all searching for the truth okay mm-hmm. the truth is we we have not come here to learn okay we have not come our soul has not taken birth here on the planet earth to learn okay it knows everything it is nothing to learn from anything or anyone we come here to experientially understand experience through experiences then then we grow so if you go into the learning mode it is it is fine because mind always learns there is nothing wrong in that you know but thing is that particular learning may or may not add to original our soul's purpose that we have taken but that's what i'm saying here mm-hmm. okay there is no good and bad here okay there is no right and wrong now, all are part of experiences maybe i experience to do the same mistake 10 times that is a part of my experience okay he was asking about the steep jobs etc maybe he realized that it is he is not going anywhere okay then he chosen to how to go beyond that then he find a way he knock the door and door open at this particular point of time certain point of time yeah mm-hmm. so that is that is the way it is okay our soul knows everything we need not to learn anything from anyone i'm just this is the truth yeah and the only thing we have to just trust our soul and that connection to make that get manifested that's all okay anybody else having any question acha let me share if, uh, if uh, maybe somebody still thinking whether to ask or not but uh, meanwhile let me tell you one thing um some people become smart and they they asked uh, the question that uh, regarding the feeling you know i told that soul communicates through feeling that uh, somebody says i gone with my feeling i get into trouble <laughs> so so how i can trust my feeling yeah and uh, means if you you know don't take any action so then you are out of trouble so even if you don't listen to your it is a smart question yeah see getting the feeling uh, as i mentioned earlier feeling means that how soul communicates always takes you where in your own soul's path where you want where you need to be or how you progress towards your ultimate goal of your that's uh, the spiritual goal hmm. this trouble is a branding because this trouble is a branding because our mind considers anything which is unpleasant is a trouble then from the soul point of view there is no good and bad so you may need to have that experience to go, go through that where you need to be our mind doesn't process it that way mind thinks if anything unpleasant or any movement is trouble so to be safe side i wanted to stand still so standing still means safe our mind you know i repeat what i am saying our mind considers that if i attempt something and which is not very pleasant then better to be stand still because then i will be safe if you choose that to be safe you will never be able to create anything you will be landing to the safe zone all the time you will be standing still there entire life 
if you don't attempt to do that so even if your the feeling you feel that you so called you landed up in trouble but please proceed with that when it comes you will be guided maybe whatever you think as a trouble it may not be the trouble it is you think that there is a trouble there so that's what you are not following your feeling hmm. so but at that point of time you will be guided again maybe the next feeling and next feeling will come you will be guided guided through but if you choose to avoid trouble you become standing still which our we are again this is our pattern the way of way we think is if you don't take any action we are safe we are you know we are we are comfortable we are we are not safe we are stuck okay. we will not be able to move so any movement you do there will be ups and downs in the path but through that experiences you will reach to your destination but if you play safe you will never be able to move you are stuck okay i just clarified this point uh, because even if it is not asked but this is normally asked that you know what happens if my if i go to my feeling and get into trouble you know that's what that's why i just um, explaining it uh, from that point of view as well all right anybody else any any question further okay i think uh, no one else is having any further questions so um i have one question yes uh, okay. so uh, like most of our uh, actions are um, are often related with you know with others also it's not like something with independently only for us exclusively mm -hmm. when it's always others are involved yeah how do we how do we ensure that we are taking the right uh, decision like it because there are others involved i mean others mm -hmm. soul plans others um, act uh, you know whatever they feel is or mm. even they are getting because we are always in a social setup right? yeah okay uh, no it's a good question so it is uh, first of all we need to make i am i making it clear another truth is we are not responsible for somebody else okay we are not responsible we cannot guarantee anything to anyone else other than you know or myself we 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 can only work for ourselves not for anybody else this particular thing i normally mention that don't play god you are not god so better not to play that you know what we can do from our side we do our best in any given situation our best if that whatever our decisions are based on our own soul consciousness our own own feeling then most likely will be in the right territory in the right direction and this particular thing so far as our interaction with other others are concerned then we have to follow a simple principle in life yeah that we have to enjoy our life without harming anyone or anything as long as our thoughts words and actions are not harming anyone or anything maybe nature you know maybe mother nature or whatever then we are fine with it we can we can live the way we we want to live our life in that in the whole uh, scenario now interaction with other i'm saying no harm but that is about the uh, what is what i'm saying is the reserve part of it like that is a background part of it in the foreground what we do in the foreground our action should be how many choices we can give it to the other party choices the other person have a right to choose more we give right to choose that much we are aligned to our own you know that uh, what is called the spirituality or um, our own consciousness 
I just give a normal sometime example in earlier one of the session I was giving a good organization and a bad organization to work with. You know, you know the qualities of the good organization means they have got more choices to the employees. They have more flexibility, more choices, and the bad things is too much rigid, too much enforcement. That makes the organization bad or not lucrative or whatever you call it. So things lies there. How much voluntarily means you are not forced to give the choices. Yeah, but if you choose to give choices to the others, that makes the okay. And your only thing you have to accept and let that happen. So this is the that multiple layer I explained you that uh, uh, your question. Now let me know whether it addressed your question or your question was something little different. No, no, it is. It certainly addresses a large part of what I'm, what I asked uh, because uh, I think yeah, you rightly said that you know uh, that we should not play God and we should not also think that uh, we will be able to take a decision which will always be. Uh, take care of everything. Uh, yeah, that is right. The, but often I feel myself that I get uh, get into such situations where I like I I go with um, with my intuition with whatever I have to take mm. a decision. But I'm always I I feel at the back of my head there's still some confusion. Am I taking this in the best interest of everyone? That is one question. That so that um, was the thing, and you're right. Okay, I, I, uh, I understood. See, yeah. Now let me also add: there is nothing called best decision. Okay, there is a lot of parameters. There is nothing called best decision. It is also our mind creation. There is nothing called best. What you choose to be, that is your choice. That's all. It need not to be the best. So. Or if I put it in the other way around, based on the available data or whatever you feel, you give your best, your best. It not necessarily best to the others. At least you are satisfied that in, under the given circumstances, the decision you took that is from with your, you know, best intention, and without harming anyone or anything. Okay, that's all it should. So then you, you just release it and let other person has equal choice to take it or leave it. All right. God bless you. All right. So if there is no other question. So we'll go into our Kriya and meditation. So sit straight and breathe in and breathe out few times. And relax yourself. Now take a deep breath in for three Om chanting. चरम तत्पदम दर्शितम् येना 
तस्मै श्री गुरुवे नम अनतिरंधस गना जनशलाकया चक्षुन्दिना तस्म श्री गुरव नम गुरब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरुदेव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम